Hey everybody, John here for the Fall Guys. All right, uh, somebody had said that uh, uh, my back drag plate might work better if I um, if I put in my uh, my shoes. So what we did is we put in the shoes, and that, that'll stop the back drag plate from going back forward because I know the angle was pretty uh, pretty bad, and of course you're not going to get no good no good at scraping action with it like that but you see now if you notice but see how it is right now and when that goes down that's actually going to be at a at an angle like that and uh, what I don't want it to do is um grab onto something and then catch and break it but we're going to try it out here on this on my driveway here see what it's uh see how it does see if it makes any of a difference all right hold on guys we'll be right back all right, so here we are. We've uh, started check, checking this out here, see how it works. Well, it's getting a little bit, bit of good grab there, but it's that angle. That angle bothers me. Now, on the next pass, you're going to see it's going to grab a little better. I'll explain why that corner is grabbing so well. Look at that. Nice. Uh, it's because it piles at an angle. It's up on the snow on the other side. So, uh, that's no good. I mean, it digs into the snow and everything. Like that. You can see it really gets down into the snow. Uh, it's a good angle for that, but... Um, for safety reasons, you know, if that catches on something, man, I could bend the metal, screw up my plow... And uh, you don't put that kind of money out for plows like this to make a little bit of a stupid mistake. Okay. So here we are. We're over at my neighbor's driveway. It's a little clearer. There's not as much ice. More packed snow. Now, see, it's jumping. And uh, that, that means the ankle's bad. It's no good. So what I'm thinking of doing, while I'm farting around here in the snow, I'll explain to you. What I'm thinking of doing is getting some uh, tubing some steel tubing uh, put it in place of the shoes and make the tubing into a uh, an inverted T right? so the top of the T will actually be underneath between the back plate and the plow and that I'll use that as a stop gap for the back plate to rest against um, I just uh, make a couple holes in it so I can adjust the uh, how far down it goes but I, of course I don't want it to go down, <laughs> right down onto the uh, to the ground, I want it to stay up. Oh, really? My dogs have to bark now. So, that I think would fix the problem. And I, depending on, uh, see, I'm still in the process of thinking it over here, wondering how to make it up. But that's an idea I have. If uh, listen, guys, if you got an idea of something that I can uh, do easily, so I really don't want to weld anything to the back plate itself. Uh, if in the event I do need a new back plate, what I'm going to do is have the guy press it if he has a pre um, a break big enough to give that back plate, like make it longer, and then right down maybe about halfway, Just break it so that at the angle of it is different. So that when the plow does come down and I pull back, it won't be at that angle it's at because I'll put a back uh, break on it. So that, I'll show you here. So instead of it doing this here like this, I'll bend it maybe a few, about four inches up. But this, I'll make this uh, like three or four inches wider than it is right now. Right now it's only about, what, five, six inches? So I'll make it seven or eight inches and bend it. And then that should be enough to do it but for now because i don't want to put out you know three or 300 bucks that's what he's going to probably charge me because they have to cut these they make them in the shop so they have to cut in all those um those slots in that for uh for it to fit onto the bottom of that plow um i, I could weld in a piece on that at an angle uh, that's like a lot of work i think just putting something inside the shoe holes probably be a lot easier just have them up far enough up that the back plate actually hits them but not the but them not hitting the ground if you get what i mean 
Anyways, I'm just gonna clean up my mess here. So clear it up. Whee! Pile. I spoke to my neighbor. He'd actually stop by later on after I did all this. And then he goes, "Ah, oh, the driveway's nice and clean. I see you came over. You gave it a good scrape." <laughs> yeah, I, I gave it a good scrape. I, I told him I said I was using his driveway as a test ground. He says, "A test ground." I said, yeah, I'm just working on my back plate. I said, I'm not getting a good scrape out of it. But he's a good guy. I like him very much. He's a good customer, too. Guy never complains or nothing. I'm going to light his driveway out of it. Make him feel happy. And there we go. Well, all right. So, um, listen, send back your ideas. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, leave your ideas in the comment. And as always, thanks for watching.